cataractcoach.com. Recovering from Argentinian flag sign, the capsule rex has just ran out all the way to the nylon attachment. Now what are you going to do? Let's watch the case here. Here's some tripan blue dye to stain the lens capsule. And now, oh, it's pressurized though. See, this is where I'd like a needle decompression or double rex technique, but watch carefully. Careful. Up oh, there it goes. It's gone. All the way out to the zonules. Now what? Now what are you going to do? So surgeons are going to make a nick in the capsule and try to go the other way. Now look, runs out again. Sometimes you just can't win. We didn't fix the main problem, which is you have to decompress the capsular bag. And so when you feel the anterior lens capsule and you feel it so pressurized, you know that you have an intumescent case where the pressure in the bag, the intralenticular pressure is so high. So if you just go in and poke like we were done here, and we've all made the mistake, so I don't blame anyone, you're going to have the situation of the Argentinian flag sign. Now you can make some cuts in the capsule and try just do some scalloped edges and kind of get the opening a little bit bigger, but they still have a huge risk in this case that that rip towards the zonal support can go all the way around the lens equator and back to the posterior capsule and rip that posterior capsule wide open. Yeah, that's tough. So in a case like this, I really like needle decompression, phaco probe decompression. We've talked about many other devices, precision pulse capsulotomy. You want to do a femto, do that. Again, you can buzz them with a phaco probe. You can needle aspirate, do a double rexus technique. I mean, we've showed you all this stuff already on Cataract Coach. We're now going in and decompress. Okay, using the phaco probe, but look at that capsule, especially under the phaco probe. That's going to need to be addressed. That, you don't catch that with the phaco probe. It's going to be a big, hot mess. Now, surgeon's obviously talented here. You're going to do a chop technique. Kind of falling off my screen a little bit here. But to get that nucleus split and be cautious. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Look at that. If you put stress on the bag, you can have this just rip all the way back. This nucleus can be on the macula before you know it. Be careful. So, okay, I like the idea, get it out of the bag. That's a good idea. Avoid placing stress on the bag. Really, you need to avoid that. And then buzzing in again, and these little pieces, there's a little fragment there kind of attached. Okay, here's another incision. Let's see what we're gonna do with the second incision. Another para, just for access. I like that. Yeah, get it up out of the bag. Quit stressing out that poor bag. I know you're saying, well, I'm gonna put too much energy close to the endothelium. Well, it's a give and take here, buddy. Or high patient probably has a stronger endothelium than a stronger capsule, because this case, for sure, the capsule's weak. Now we've got this iatrogenic issue of the runout. It's going to be much weaker. Now you can chop it right here just using that candle in the chopper. You don't need any fancy instruments. And now aspirating the cataract again, staying away from the bag. Oh, that clear red reflex just makes my heart sink a little bit. But it could still be intact. You could have an intact capsule bag. I'm watching the video for the first time with you. I'm kind of looking back there. It looks like a real bright red reflex. Taking these pieces down, just wolf it down. Just stuff it in there. Here, I wouldn't chop it too much. I agree with that because if the bag's open, you don't want to have four or five, six pieces of cataract nucleus floating around everywhere. Better to keep together as big, one big honking piece. So again, energy, energy, energy. Oh, this is stressful. And so now you've learned your lesson. You know what to do. Do not tempt fate. If you have a, a pressurized lens like that, you have to do something about it. And watch the cataract coach videos, baby rexes, double rexes technique, needle decompression, phaco probe decompression, whatever you want to do, do something. Look at that. By some miracle, that bag's intact. Woo. Luck is on our side today. Here comes the lens. Now make sure the lens gets in the bag, right? Remember sub-incisionally, you had the rexus that was kind of still too wide and too big. Make sure you get this all the way in there. Don't stress out the bag. You can still break it. And you may want to trim up the rest of that capsule that was there, the sub-incisional space. Yeah, double check. Make sure the lens is in the bag and not in the sulcus. That's critically important. Wow, this is a stressful case. I think we all learned our lesson here. We definitely need to approach these cataracts with caution. Woo!